Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's, I guess, the second video. Only because I uploaded uh, the first video last night. So, this either might be today or tomorrow's video. So, uh, I just wanted to say that tomorrow, December 12th, is my uh, second anniversary. Um, on YouTube, so I've been doing YouTube for two years now, and I'm so excited of how far we come. And yes, I said we because it's our channel. Um, even though I am putting in the work for it, but I just want to say thank you guys for your support and for liking my videos and just for watching my videos. Um, just thank you. Um, for that, we're almost to 1K, um, which I'm so excited. We're almost about to hit 700 subscribers very soon, so that'll be an amazing Christmas gift um, for that. So, thank you for subscribing. So, let me talk about what I'm doing here um, for today's practice, and which is how I practice in art. Now, before I jump into that, I just want to stress how important processing is and like with art, if you want to uh, study or get better at certain things and for me, I love drawing animals and the way much better how I like to do it is cartooning and the reason I say that is because to simplify and to understand what needs to be added not added and what needs to get better and uh, for that so how I do it I usually go to Skillshare and this is not sponsored by any means but I usually like to go to Skillshare and learn and or I like to go to uh, YouTube search for tutorials and how to learn for that but the best step to learn is also by photos that you can find online just make sure that you either uh, simplify it or not exactly copy it, but try to put your own twist to it and um, try to study a little bit on it and try to do different angles and just different expressions. Anything that will help you draw what you want to draw better. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, but I am, there's a lot for me to learn. Um, and Skillshare is awesome for that. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, by any means, but you know, to practice more of uh, the subject more than once instead of just going, oh, be like, oh, I'm done. Uh, I could go on the next thing now. If practice, if you draw more than once, you can do studies, and that's basically how I practice. Now, the program I am using is Procreate, and you can do this with paper and uh, pen or pencil uh, for any medium you like to choose. Uh, you know, dedicate your sketchbook to a specific subject or something like if you want to practice hands, have a full hand sketchbook. Or if you want to practice animals, um, have an animal sketchbook. Um, I've talked about that before on my channel and that is really helpful. Now for cartooning and simplifying uh, your studies. Just makes sense to me, and I'm not saying that you should only practice in cartoon and, you know, but also practice in realistic first. I've been drawing for a while, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I've been drawing for a while and I kind of have uh, both styles, and but I like to draw cartoon the most um, with my art, so that's how I like to simplify things and try to express a little bit. Um, I still need a lot more practice with elephants because um, I'm basically redrawing the same elephant just in different uh, angles but hey you know it's good practice I guess but that's you know whatever works for you this is just how I do it and how I like to go about practicing. Uh, for that matter, so guys, I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you like this format. Shout out to my friend who I've been talking to on Instagram who recommended to do screen recording. It's really been a lot better for me 
and I hope that to keep this in real time that you guys will get a general idea how a work in procreate and uh, yeah so thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh, click on your notification bell if you won't miss a video and thank you for watching bye guys